Hello everyone, Legend of Eon here, and I have for you guys a budget modern deck, and it's on Mardu Tokens. I know that modern can be a pretty expensive f format, but if you're wanting to play a really fun deck and something that doesn't break your wallet, then I can I will suggest this deck to you guys. I've been playing this deck for a little bit, and I'm still tweaking the deck up a little, but without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. <laughs> so first off, we're playing Nomad Outpost. Woohoo! It's kind of blurry. Nomad Outpost, just really nice try tap land, super budget. Next we have Evolving Wilds, just to get just mana mana fixing color color mana fixing whatever. Yeah. Then we're gonna be running six planes, five mountains, two swamps, and last but not least of our lands, probably. The expensive card in our deck is Vault of the Archangel because creatures you control gain Death Touch and Life Link, but we have to pretty much pay 5 mana. We do have to tap this card out and then pay 4 of the mana, but that's kind of like 5 mana to do that. But uh, by the time we get, we, we, by the time we will be able to activate this card, we're pretty much already ahead of the board. So, yep, it's 23 lands. So, yeah. On to the next cards in the deck so it's kind of like a creature less deck I guess without no creatures we're just playing cards that produce tokens so here's our draw cards for the deck we have faceless looting this card used to be at four then it kind of down to three then a two because we do get to draw two cards but then we discard two cards that's the thing I didn't like about that um, and usually I would just end up discarding the faceless lootings or the um, start to finish or the Lingering Souls, and that's pretty much it. So, other than that, I think it's, this, this is a really strong card, and like really good against like Dredge and stuff like that. If you're playing Dredge, this card is just bonkers. So, yeah, this card is just really nice. Let's us just kind of discard our card that we don't want. Next, we have Night's Whisper. I've been trying to look for different cards that just draws, and this card is just really nice. Just does what it does. Two mana, draw two cards, then take two life. Then we play three read the bones. I was playing four and then sometimes I just saw this card way too much and I think just two is just fine because we are going to be taking life from these because we don't have shock lands. These are pretty much our shock lands by just drawing cards but we just try to draw two cards and then take two life so it's not bad. We have then three lightning bolts just you know bolt you know certain things that just we don't want to see. <laughs> um, we can also bolt our opponent's faces if we need to. Then our next spells we have is Intangible Virtues. Pretty much to pump our token creatures. It gives them plus one plus one and they have Vigilance. This card is just bonkers. It's really good. Then last but not least, Whip of Erebos. I'm running this card because it just gives my creatures lifelink. So I just pay four mana one time. Um, if your opponent doesn't have an out to it, then you're just gonna be gaining life every single turn, which is really good. So it's like a, I guess it's like a third vault of the Archangel, but this card gives our creature death touched also. So, all right, on to our token producers, we have Krenko's Command. Just two, uh, you're able to put two one one red goblin creatures token on the battlefield. Yeah, and then put two one one red goblin figure to the battlefield. So dragon fodder, pretty much the same thing. Then we have raise the alarm, which is instant speed. Put two one one white soldier tokens, creature tokens onto the battlefield. Instant speed, so you can do it on your opponent's turn, which is really nice. The new card I added to the deck was start to finish. Create two one one white warrior tokens with vigilance. So it is three mana. But your token creatures have vigilance, so it's really really nice. But it has like kind of like a flashback effect, but what's called it's called aftermath. So when you have like a faithless looting or something, you can also just discard this card from your graveyard. It's not bad. But when you cast this card from your graveyard, as additional cost, you sacrifice a creature. So if you think about it, you cast this card in your opponent's turn, you get two one ones, and then you cast this card from your graveyard on your turn. You sacrifice the 1-1 one, one to like say you trade to, like, for a Tremorgoyf or something. Like that's a really cool trade. Just a 1-1 one, one for a Tremorgoyf. That's really cool. So that's the only thing I really like about it. It just gives us extra tokens and we can just get rid of a creature that we don't want. Last but not least 
Lingering Souls is just a really nice token, uh, really nice token producer where he gives us one one white spirit creatures with flying. So yeah, and also has flashback. So yeah, there's there's there is um, another token card that I really like. Um, I don't have it though, and I don't and I forgot what it was called, but it was a card that said uh, you pay one white and X, and then you create uh, one one. Uh, white warrior tokens equal to the uh, X. So that's really really cool. It's an instant speed too, so you can produce it on your opponent's turn. Um, I went to stores and I just they didn't have any, so I had to I'd have to buy them online, and I didn't have time to do that. So sorry. <laughs> All right, onto the extra deck or extra deck sideboard. Um, just graveyard hate, torment crypt, and the relic of progenitus. Woo! It's getting a little blurry. So it was just yeah, just graveyard hate. I never knew how much like stuff there is in the graveyard. Like people just utilize the graveyard so much. Like just like this deck, it uses it can also use the graveyard. So fragmentize just to get uh just extra artifact removal, but mainly it's just to get rid of like certain enchantments. Like if you're playing against bogles or something, yeah. And I also didn't realize how much artifact hate I'm running. So like running two stony silence, and then by force destroys target X artifacts. So yeah, this is really really good. Next we have Dreadbore. So playing this deck, I was just playing it and I was like, there's no way that I can get rid of planeswalkers. And so this is the only thing in the deck that gets rid of planeswalkers. And it's pretty pretty cheap for what it does. And I didn't want anything that costs anything more than three mana, so this was the only thing. The short target creature or planeswalker. So yeah, it's not bad. Last but not least in our sideboard we have Condemn um I think it's just a really nice one drop since we don't have Path to Exiles. This just gets rid of the creature, attacking creature, and the opponent gains life equal to its toughness. So you put it in the bottom of the owner's library, so it's not bad. Um, so yeah, that is a deck profile. Yep, yep. So again, it's, I guess, kind of budget for what it is. Like, usually modern decks are pretty expensive because of the shock lands and fetch lands and such. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is my build that I that I made, and I really enjoy playing it a lot. I'm still tweaking up the deck, so let me know what you guys think. All right, until next time, bye.